In order for AO to work, you will need to install content for it, otherwise you will be very confused when first joining a server. These missing nodes will appear when you don't have the content installed already. To install content for AO, whether that be characters, backgrounds, music, or themes, you will first need to download them somewhere in your computer. For Killing Fever Online, you will find the server content in the website. Link will be in the description. Once you have the zip file, extract it and move any of the contents from the zip file into the base folder. If it prompts you want to replace, pick yes. It is advised not to merge content from two different servers in one base folder. I will go over how to avoid this in another video. You are not limited to using the content provided by servers, however, as you can create and use your own custom character, backgrounds, or music, as long as you can share the download with other people. Stay tuned for part two. In AO, there are multiple servers with multiple versions of the same content. It is not advised to merge content from different servers in the same base folder, as this will cause errors. Not to mention, so, so many files in one folder might make it hard to look around. This is where mounted folders come in. Mounted folders are multiple base folders stored in different places from one another, so content does not merge. To mount a folder, go into the Settings menu and click on the Assets tab. There you will be able to select a Add button and selecting a folder. Remember to click Clear Cache whenever you are done and you should be set. The folders that are at the bottom of the assets list take priority over the ones above. For example, if two servers have two different versions of Phoenix, the one at the bottom of the list will be used. Once that's selected, press the Save button and the folder should be mounted. Once you install AO, you will be using the default theme for the client. A theme changes the way the sprite, text, button placement, and more appears once you join a server. If you want to change your theme, go to the settings menu and click on the theme drop down menu. There, you will be able to choose out of the 20 available default themes. Once you have done that, choose the Reload Theme button and a new theme should appear. Feel free to try out different themes and see which one is your favorite. When you enter a server, you are able to select any of the characters available. If a character is grayed out, that means someone else in that area is also using them. Let's choose Phoenix for now. Once you're in the server, if you want to change characters again, you can do so by pressing the Change Characters button. You can also change characters by typing in OOC chat slash switch and the character's name, or by typing slash random car for a random character to be selected. You are not limited to only choose the character shown in the character selection screen. However, I will go over how in the next part. In AO, certain characters have multiple versions of themselves. Let's take a look at Miles. Right now we are Ace Attorney Miles, but if you want to switch to Investigations Miles, you have to go to the AnySwaps menu and press Miles AAI. There, you will be able to use his sprites and play as him. If you want to go to AA Miles, do the same process. You can do the same not only with characters shown in the drop-down menu, but any character that's in your character folder. You can swap to them by typing their name on the AnySwap section. In order to change the character's name that shows on the screen, type on the gray box with a name and type a new name. 
character names can also be changed with the slash show name command. From Miles, you can become Goku. You can send emotes for characters in AO by clicking the emote button, writing text in the chat box, and pressing enter. Several emotes have pre-animations, which are single-time animations that play if indicated by the pre-animation checkbox before a message is sent. Emotes have pre-animations on and off by default when you change between them. You can alternate the animations on an emote by double-pressing its button or clicking on the checkbox. The immediate box allows text to appear the moment a pre-animation starts instead of when it ends. Talking animations are those that play while text is being shown, like lip flaps. They end once the message ends. Idle animations play once a message sent is over. It will continue to play repeatedly unless stopped by another message. I will go over the rest of the checkboxes in part two. Stay tuned. In AO, by default, there are seven positions that a character can appear on in an area. In order to change between them, you can use the position drop-down menu or type the OOC command slash POS and add the position you want to change to. Pressing the flip checkbox lets you flip a character's sprites horizontally. This is useful if you want to use a prosecutor character as a defense and vice versa. The additive box allows you to add text to your last written message instead of it creating a new message. The messages need to be continuous, however, since any messages that interrupt it will cause you to have a new message no matter if the box is checked or not. There is also a casing checkbox which allows you to get casing notifications. It is rarely used depending on the server. Alternatively, case roles may be announced in OOC chat or the server's Discord. In AO, you can change text color by choosing it from a drop-down menu or by surrounding the text you want to change with special text characters. A message in AO can have multiple colors. If you want to select a piece of text and choose a color from the drop-down menu, you are able to change the color of the text you selected only. You are able to change your text color to one of nine colors. In AO, changing color is not the only way you are able to modify your messages and how they are presented. Alongside being able to do a flash and a screen shake with the provided buttons, you are also able to activate these effects by typing backslash S or backslash F before a message. This way, the flash or shake won't start at the beginning of the message, but wherever you want them to go in the message. You can change the alignment of the text in your message by surrounding it with two tildes to align it to the middle and tilde greater than to align it to the right. Finally, you can change the speed at which your message is displayed by putting curly brackets facing to the left before a message to slow it down or putting curly brackets facing to the right after a message to speed it up. In AO, you can affect the way your messages are sent with a variety of visual and sound effects you can use. The first thing you might notice are the three Hold It, Objection, and Take That buttons. Pressing this before sending a message will let you send a special shout. Certain characters have unique shouts, like Apollo. You can also select to use special effects like a screen flash and a screen shake, which can be used at the same time. 
There is also a VFX drop-down menu where you can choose a variety of effects. These effects can appear behind the character or in front of them, and some of them even track their position on the screen. If you want to play music in AO, you have to go to the music list and double click on any available song. In many AO servers, music is organized through categories. You were able to look for music by collapsing and opening these categories, or by typing the song name of the song you want to play. By right clicking on the music list, you have a variety of options. You can stop the current music playing, choose a song at random from the category you right clicked on, or expand or collapse all of the current categories. You can also affect the way music sounds when changing or stopping it by enabling fade-ins or fade-outs, or allow synchronization, which allows you to start new songs starting from the same point as the old one. To find evidence in AO, click on the Evidence tab. There you will see all the evidence available. Click on a piece of evidence to look at its detail and press the present button if you want to present that evidence in your next message. To create new evidence, press the addition sign in the evidence tab. There you will be able to give it a name, a description, and an evidence picture. You can use evidence in multiple ways in AO, not just in cases, but different roleplays can have the evidence tab be used to note items in an area, or as a place to take notes with private evidence. You can also add evidence to a private inventory, but I will go over this in another video. To add evidence to a private inventory, press the bottom with the arrow pointing to the briefcase in the top right of the Evidence tab. The Private Evidence is a tab that only you have access to. Use it to keep track of important items. You are also able to save your current private evidence in any file and load it again. You can also create new pieces of evidence inside the private evidence tab that only you can see. If you want to bring an item from your private evidence to the public evidence, select the evidence and click on the globe button with an arrow. To go back to the public evidence, click on the globe icon to the right.